hi, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all to my channel. Today is going to be a thrift haul video. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some video footage of me actually at the Goodwill bins, or as I guess I found out, the outlet. On a snowy day in Wisconsin, what do we do? We go thrifting. I have been to the Goodwill bins one time, right when they first opened, and it was a bit scary. Um, I'll be honest, I was probably thinking I would never go back again, but today we are going to tackle the Goodwill bins, see what we can find. I'm gonna bring you guys along. If that doesn't work out for me, I am going to head to some of the other local thrift stores. We're calling it the outlet store now. I didn't know that. So as I was walking up to the store, I was thinking, why had I waited so long to come back? Uh, it's an official outlet store. And um, when I first got in, I had forgotten I, I was a bit overwhelmed. I'll be, a, I'll totally admit it. I just kind of was like walking and like, oh my gosh, there's just tons and tons of stuff in all of these carts. And then I realized pretty quick, I was just going to have to start digging and uh, something caught my eye. And after that, it didn't take me long. And I was digging away, looking for different treasures one thing I did notice as I had entered the building is that there were quite a few people with carts just standing around. At this point, I had not realized or knew that how this works is every hour, typically, they bring out um, roughly, I think it was like 10 carts or 10 bins. And um, these people basically run to the bins and just start rummaging through. I did grab this. Um, that was one of my very first finds. I was so excited to have found a rolling pin. Uh, but like I said, I was standing there and the bins started rolling out and these people like all like were like vultures and standing around uh, <laughs> these bins and I'm like watching them and all of a sudden they got a signal and they just ran and they just started r ripping through all the bins um and it was just it was a crazy sight is all I have to say uh as I was checking out for the very first time I um, asked the lady, I'm like, oh my gosh, like how, how does this work? And she's like, yep, uh, typically every hour we bring um, bins out. We are very short staff, so now it's not every hour on the hour, but those people will stay here all day long and that's what they do. They Every time a bin comes out, they rush the bins and they get different items. I Honestly, I can see how it's addicting, but I would not stay there an entire day. Uh, it would be definitely a waste of time. I did grab this. I, I looked it over and I was like, oh, it just caught my eye. I just had to have it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I had to have it. Okay, so I just filled my vehicle up. The cart was full. I checked out. I got a a vintage books, a buck of bees. And now we're heading back in for round two. I'm gonna, I didn't even get to look at everything. I figured I'd better check out before I spend too much money. So here's round two. I actually hit up the bins that uh, everyone else had hit up um, when I was watching them rush the bins. So I'm looking through... Uh, there were a few things that I saw that I looked at. I did end up um, getting uh, quite a few th items from the bins um, that, like this Parcheesi board, I did end up getting that. It um, was totally intact and I actually had been at this really cool store um, in the area and she over the holidays had sold all kinds of vintage games and that kind of is what triggered my thought process on that. Um, I don't know how well it's going to go over or not but I thought it would be kind of fun to have um, 
you know, displayed in, in my booth. Now, um, I did end up getting another cart full of stuff. And then I also found out at the end, they have racks of glassware. So I went back like a third time and got a bunch of glassware. But overall, this was an, a, a super fun experience. That was an adventure uh, going to the outlet. I wish I would have gotten more footage. I was just a bit overwhelmed. I, I, like I said earlier on in the video, I had been there one time when they had initially opened. I guess I just did not know what to expect. The time that I had gone to, it was, I think on a weekend. So it was extremely busy where this time it wasn't super busy, but as the day like progressed, I only was there for like an hour and 15 minutes, but as that time progressed, it definitely got busier. So when I was there, I, you know, I started off just kind of like walking through and looking at the bins and then I'm like, dive in, son, it just dive in. And I slowly but surely started picking some items and I grabbed a cart, um, thank goodness, because by the end, my cart was completely full and I didn't know what I was going to get in myself into because I like, I have no idea how much of this is. So when I got up to the, um, to the checkout, I, I'm like, I haven't done this before. Can you just walk me through it? And they were very nice. And then they explained the whole process that that group of people over there, they stay here all day long. They never leave. So every hour on the hour, when they bring out new bins, they go rushing over to the new bins. And sure enough, new bins came out and that whole group of people went rushing over there. I can see how it's addicting, but honestly, I don't think I would dedicate every day of my life at the bins, uh, just waiting for a new bin to come out. They also informed me they were understaffed and that they aren't getting as many bins because they used to be one hour on the hour and now they don't have enough people to fill the bins up that it's not coming out every hour on the hour. So I'm like, all right, well, that's an interesting little fun fact, but I definitely hit it big. So I'm going to start off today's haul with what I found at the outlet, and then I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to reset this <laughs> because I got a lot, and I'm going to take all of the stuff I got from the outlet, I'm going to put it aside, and then I'm going to bring in everything else I got thrifting. I just made it a whole day of thrifting. I mean, it was snowing, it was miserable out. I just thought I might as well thrift to my heart's content. So let's start with um, what I found first. So when I started digging, I, in one of the very first bins, one of my very first items that I put in the cart, I found this. So I was so excited. I got it home though, and I just broke off. I don't know. It looks like there's something on the end. I, I was really sad. A sucker weighs a ton. I could actually do curls. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know how to fix that, but I, I definitely was planning on possibly keeping this one for myself just because it was very cool. But then I thought, well, maybe I could get rid of it. So I have to figure out how I can possibly fix it. And I don't think it was broke when I got it. So I'm not sure, but this was part of the haul. So I should tell you, I went in, filled my cart up one time and it was totally full. I uh, paid, I think $92 then went back and I had my cart full again and I only paid like $20 for that. And then the, I was walking out and then I found a whole bunch of dishes and then I paid like $13 for all the glassware, but, um, it was, it was eventful. I didn't realize everything was weighed <laughs> and that's awesome. But when you find heavy things, that's when the price kind of goes up. Um, so let's go ahead. And, um, so that was my first item. Then I've always been wanting, um, I've done quite a few videos recently on like creating vintage books and I'm like, I really just, I've never been able to stumble upon any. And I had watched um, a haul video from, I was just searching uh, stuff on YouTube. 
and I ended up stumbling upon a haul video of a Goodwill um, bins haul and a lady passed up so many good books. I was like, what are you doing? I would take them all. And I, just as I was digging through after I found my rolling pin, I pulled out my first book. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally keeping this. This is not going anywhere. It's mine. So I put it in the cart and I'm grabbing more and more stuff. And I get to the bin and, and look at what I found. 40 of them. 40 cool vintage books. And I was kind of looking through the insides to see. And this one looks like it had been sold on Etsy. It has an Etsy number. Uh, it also has a number that the Etsy person must have had to put on. And she had $8 on this book. So I ended up paying a dollar a book. And there are a few that I plan on keeping for myself. Uh, a few of them are like from like the 1800s and they were signed by the person who owned the book. It just, it was so, plus I love the covers. Uh, so those will be mine. I'm keeping them, but I did pay a buck a piece. So when I talked about like that first cart full was $92 of that $40 were all the books because I ended up getting 40 of them. So that was a big chunk of it and I couldn't pass them up. And I think that they'll look so cool in my booth. So that's how the haul started and I was super excited. Then I, okay, I found a bit of a bin with a whole bunch of glassware in it. And this was part of the first one. I ended up finding these and I thought they were just kind of fun looking and I, got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, ten of them. And then I was looking, I don't know if you can see, but I don't think you can. I was taking them out of the package to set up like this display. And here they actually are all Coca-Cola glasses. And one side says Coke, the other says Coca-Cola. So some say that and some do not. Um, I'm not really sure entirely, but I just thought, I've noticed when I've been adding glassware to, like I always have a table and chairs and like a uh, setting set up on there that when I put glasses out, they go over very well. So I might keep, I might put, you know, maybe just keep, maybe put them in sets of four. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I just thought they were fun. And I'm again, it was like my first time there, so I didn't know anything about it. Uh, then when I was coming out the very last time, when I told you I found all the glassware, I have all the glassware sitting here. So I'm going to go over that. I found these two items and they look like they're for like some type of sconce. And I thought they were just so cool. I loved the detail. I'm like, what can I do with them? What can I do with them? And it was only 45 cents a pound. So I, I, I'm like, how much do these weigh? What do you think they weigh? I don't know. I just put them all on my cart. So <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, I should bring my weighing scale. But anyways, so I can, I'm definitely going to go back. If you guys uh, haven't realized that thus far, I'm going to be back to, at the, the outlet. Um, but I love these. I like the color. I think they're neat. I know I can do something really fun. I also like to find like really fun little dishes um, to, to set about in my, um, and with spring coming, I, these caught my eye and this was all part of the $13 that I spent um, at the end. So I got those two things, these. I also ended up getting this and this is actually, I looked at the back, it's a red wing. So it says red wing pottery. And it's a, a plate. I thought it was really cool. And all these colors are just like, I know the everyone has a different color of the green this year. And actually I was, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look. I think that Sherwin Williams, I actually had picked up as an oopsie a while ago and I used it in one of my thrift flips a while ago. Um, and then they made it color of the year this year. So uh, but this one, um, I also read like this type of green is really in this year. Blues are coming back. So this, I, I'm like, oh my God, I love it. I have to grab it. I grabbed that as part of that $13. Then I found these. I, I ended up getting three of them. And I thought they were so cool. They're crystal. Uh, I wanted to just kind of lay them somewhere 
in my home. I'm going to wash them up, make them look all pretty, and I'm going to just put them as part of a display uh, for now. And I might get rid of them at some point. I just thought they were so pretty though. And I, you all know, if you've been following me for a while, I love pottery. And this is T, it's signed, it looks like TBP, but it's for your, your jewelry. And I liked the color. I, I saw it and caught my eye right away. So I had to grab it. That was part of that. And then I found this and it's a big bowl and I'm sure that it probably, well, I'm guessing that it might've had four, but maybe not. Uh, so I had four, three little plates to go with it and each one has a different fish on it. And it just, I loved them. It just reminded me, well, I like the bright colors. It just reminds me of summer. And you know, going out, and I, I wonder if these were may have been like you put you put a fish on it to eat. I don't know, but I'm sure I can definitely sell these in my booth. Now, uh, the last piece that I got for the thirteen dollars was for myself. I um, like I'm trying to think. Like a while ago, in one of my hauls. I found some of this false graph pottery or like the set and it's it's black and it so I got the bowls I got the bowls to go with it I got the all the salad plates and if you look it's got like a really kind of cool pattern on the salad plates and then for the regular plates and I remembered when I looked last time, just one regular plate was going for a small fortune or well, I mean a lot. I would never play, pay it for one plate. So I got the, the set of dishes for our kitchen to use. Um, my family's a bit hard on dishes. So again, I got all of that for $13 and that's all for me. Like this is for me, the black set. I'll show it to you, the black set for me to use. And that's really heavy, they're really heavy. So that is what I got from that $13. Then I'm just going to start throwing out. I don't know exactly, like I said, how much I paid for everything. But look at this. I found this in the bin, um, the secondary bin. And I thought it was really cool. I'm like, I wonder if you can just set it. But somebody hand painted that. I mean, pretty darn good hand painter. And it will end up in one of my booths for sure. Now, spring is coming. Is this not the cutest thing you, look at this. Oh my gosh, I, okay. I don't like bunnies very much because they eat my garden, but I think they are cute. And I thought this is su super adorable and with Easter right around the corner. So I grabbed that. Then these, I found them. I don't know what they are. I kept thinking they were something for darning, or something. I don't know. Or I just saw them. I thought they were really neat. I threw them in. Very lightweight. Couldn't have cost me a lot. Uh, so I grabbed those. And I mean, I do sew, but I don't know if this is for knitting or something. So if you know what these are for, let me know. Uh, here, I'll give you even a close up. And I should show you on this one. Oh no, I thought it was something, but I think it's just chipped. I was going to show you. <laughs> I thought it was a marking, but it's not. All right, and then the next thing I got was this letter A, and it was originally, it looks like original tag was 14. It was just in there. I thought it was super cute. I liked the um, pineapples on it, and um, it is, if I don't sell it in one of my booths, I'll probably give it to my parents because their last name starts with an A. So I thought that was very cool. All right, let's go on to, now my knees are starting to bother me from kneeling here. I'm going to sit down without breaking everything. Oh, part of that $13 was this too. See, I did get a lot more. Uh, these, I think they're coasters and they're from the Food Network and they are Bordeaux. So it's all wine. Uh, I found those. I thought that would go over really cute in one of my booths. Now, this is Rachel Ray. I grabbed it. I don't know. It was the orange. It kept catching my eye. Um, this bright orange. And I thought, 
this would be like even cute to display something on it in one of my booths too. So that was also part of that $13. <laughs> and when the secondary haul, I ended up getting these wood bats. I had seen somebody take these bats and I don't know, I do have a table saw. So I thought about possibly somehow cutting them in half and you make a, a sign with it. So my daughter is a big softball player and I thought it would be really cool to do something with that. I only have two at this point, but I'm gonna be looking on the lookout for additional bats and doing something really cool with like for a sign for that, for her. Okay, and then moving on. Uh, a while ago, I found a vintage, um, like a vintage mirror like this. And I wanted to create some sort of display in my bathroom with that one. And this one looks very cool too. It's got a really cool back to it. And you can see like, it's got that aged look. I thought it was really neat. The mirror itself isn't the best, but that's okay. I thought it was really cool. It just reminds me of my great grandma. So I grabbed it. Things that remind me of Things that I've experienced in the past always like I get real sentimental and I don't want to get rid of them even though it was not my grandma's it just reminds me of her <laughs> so, anyways I love baskets and this looks like it had been at a rummage and it had a two dollar tag on it I thought it was so cool though I love how the age of it the look of it it just it's very cool and I'm I'm going to put it in one of my booths. This is my main focus is trying to stock my booths up. And I talked about it in my goals. And um, I have lots of items that I have in my hoard that I'm going to pull out and be stocking with a lot of these items. So I have lots and lots of ideas. I also found this tiny Creole. It's super cute. Couldn't have cost me much. Doesn't weigh very much. And um, so I got that. And then uh, when I went thrifting later on, you're gonna see I found a big creel as well. So I think I'm gonna do possibly something with this and those fish plates, because if anyone doesn't know what a creel is, um, you actually, it's for trout fishing. And um, they typically come with a strap because you wear them and you put your fish in there in your creel. So I got that. I thought that was really cool. Oh, and I am on the lookout too for vintage blocks because I had seen um, how people decorated these up for the holidays and stuff. So I saw that. So I grabbed some of these. I only could find two. I'm like, I bet you somebody took them all. Makes me, makes me mad, but that's okay. Oh, and I didn't grab, I have I have three games too, three vintage games that I do not have in here, but I will show you later. Now I use these, this is, um, I'm a big gardener and I love repurposing these and um, putting uh, in my vegetable garden, like growing like my lettuce in here or um, just use it as a container or planter. So I love this and this one is in really good condition. A lot of times these will be really bent and, and broke up, but no, this is a really, in really good condition. So grab that. And a while ago I grabbed one of these and I don't think, I'm not sure if it's even that old or what, but I have one that is a different color and I just, in my kitchen, I thought it would be fun if I would hang like several different colors on the wall. I'm not really digging this, this, I think the other one is similar to this color. So I think I'm going to use my DIY paint and paint it another, like try to find a vintage color, like go and Google to see what colors these actually came in and try to match it and, and, and paint it. So that is what I'm going to use that one for. So that is mine. Um, I also found the, this and there's actually, I thought there was one more top. I think there might be, uh, I found three different tops and over when, I don't know if I was at shopping or where, 
but in people actually like paint snowmen on here and make it part of different displays for the holidays. I know I'm thinking way ahead, but remember I'm trying to be proactive versus reactive. So when I come up with this stuff, I am actually going to start working on some of these projects to prep them for next year. I know it's like we just got through the holidays and I'm already thinking about them, but best time I guess when it's fresh in my head. And then I found this and I have been seeing these. Uh, my mom actually just thrifted a bunch of them that were actually from Pottery Barn and the price on these were super high. So I don't know if this one was from Pottery Barn. Um, it kind of reminded me of the ones that she got, but I thought that was really cool. Definitely going to put that in my booth as part of a, dis you know, to sell and make it a really cool display. So there's that. Uh, then I did find, I know this is not really vintage, uh, but the, it reminded me of the smaller version of this. And I think I'm going to change it up a bit um, for next year's holiday. And then I found this little container. And it, it's rusty, except it does have that. I'm going to change it and do something fun. But I figured a lot of this was really lightweight and didn't cost me much. And then I found this basket. I love the vintage look of it. Um, I just, I like how it's all chippy and aged and that it's white and it's gonna go right in my booth as is. So I loved that. And then I found something for me. So here's a story. I usually have just a clutch that I hold on to that I have my money in. And my mom has been telling me, you're going to lose it. Something's going to happen. You are going to forget that wallet or it's going to drop and you're going to lose it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, and, you know, she, my mom is very concerned about her purse at all times. She thinks everybody's going to take her purse. So, uh, I found this in the bins and I, it's all leather. It is so cool. I loved it. Um, I don't think it's handmade, but I really did. I loved it. And I like the color and I think it's going to look awesome as like a crossbody for me. And it's perfect. I hate big bulky purses. I am not, that's why I like to just hold on to my wallet or like that clutch just cause it's so tiny, but I think this will be perfect. Um, it's got the, you know, like the little snap. So I grabbed that. That was all part of the the bins all right then i found this and again i thought this would be kind of fun to maybe paint something on there i'm not really sure i just thought it was fun and i was grabbing all kinds of metal stuff then i found this so remember when i talked to you about how i checked out the first time then i came back so all of like the the purse this the bats um, this was also part of that secondary haul and it was after like they had grabbed stuff and I am like looking in their carts and I'm going, what in the world are they doing? They're not even picking any of the good stuff. I'm getting all the good stuff. It looked like they have a bunch of junk in their carts. So <laughs> I don't know really. It's amazing what each of us find to be like a treasure. So I got that. Then I got into a cart that or a whatever you want to call it, uh, a bin that had all of these cutting boards. I grabbed them all. I thought this one was fun with the pineapple. Uh, this one, I just thought it was really fun too. I love the shape. This one actually has this on it, but I'm going to sand it off. I don't hunger. Oh, it's probably German. Maybe hunger or den. Best day. I don't know. You guys, anybody speak whatever language that is, but I'm going to probably just use it like that. And then this last one here. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see the, oh, this had a bird. I here the whole time. I, all I saw was this. And now when I'm showing you guys, I actually see that. Oh, now I feel sad because I think the chickadee is really cute. Uh, mm. Jean 95. She drew that and somebody gave it away. So let's see, I'm gonna quick 
show you the rest of this and then we're going to go to the next haul. All right, uh, this pumpkin and I, I ended up grabbing this because I thought I'm always trying to think of different things that I can um, to make uh, for like, you know, cranberry fest and now I'm going to be doing some more shows. And I loved how this is handmade and how they put it together. So it's like three pieces and you can see the wood was vintage and then they painted it like that. So I got that for a sample and I got this. I'm not really digging the brown so much, but it is handmade and it, it's a quilt. Uh, I thought that would be kind of cute to put in my booth. Oh, here's my other one that I talked about. Remember, I knew I had another one of these. And I'm gonna draw something like a, a snowman of some, paint a snowman on here for, for next year. Uh, found this, thought this was kind of fun. I've seen people take these and put them um, in hoops. So probably do something like that with that. Very pretty. All right, and then I got this. I'm gonna paint it up. Um, these have been going over really well to just display stuff on and People like risers, so that uh, I got that. Ended up getting this shelf. I don't know if it's real or not, but I thought I could do some decor something decorative on here, and I think it must have had something decorative because there's some nails here. Oh, you want to know what? <laughs> no, there wasn't. They tried to put hangers on in the back, and the bozo used too long of nails. All right, so I thought this was neat though because I liked that whole crackle look and do something fun with that but i have to fix it now the last three items i ended up getting this was actually it says made in the usa um our chalkboards have a spray painted slate surface with with that you can actually write on so this it looks like it was meant for um chalk and it's got a hanger on it and it's got some barbed wire or like full by barbed wire and then you can write on it. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to leave it like this, but I loved the piece of wood. Look at that piece of wood. It's so cool. So we'll see if it actually will continue to have that on it or if I upcycle it somehow to do something different. We will see. Now, I've always wanted to take some lampshades and tear them down and just have the metal. And these were, again, I didn't know how much I paid for them, but I loved the shape of this one. I thought it was really cool. And it has some really cool wires in here. It's got like two, four, six, eight wires. So I thought that would be a really cool one to do that too. And then this one too has multiple. So I thought that would be really neat too. So I'm gonna probably bring you guys along while I rip these apart and try to make them look all vintagey and with the wires all exposed. Mm -hmm. I'm sure one of you are gonna say, don't do it, it's beautiful, because I really think the shades look beautiful too, but I have no purpose or use for them in my home. And then I saw this and I walked by it and I came back. I don't know what attracted me to this <laughs> or how I'm gonna use it. I think it's the blue. I think the blue kept grabbing me or maybe it's the checkered, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So I am de I'm definitely going to do something with this. I just don't know what yet. It just caught my eye. And again, at that point, I didn't, I don't know what I paid for this. $92. No, just kidding. <laughs> the whole thing was. So, all right, now I'm going to reset and bring you back and show you what I got the rest of the day of my thrifting. And now that I'm sitting here amongst my haul, my secondary haul, what I've decided to do is I'm going to break this into two parts. There is far too much stuff. I already, I think the last video was like 20, over 20 minutes. So I'm going to end here. So I want to thank you all for watching the first part of my haul. The second part of my haul will be on Monday. I hate to do it into two parts, but there is so much stuff here. So you'll have to come back Monday and watch the secondary part of my haul. But I forgot to tell you or show you. I did find some vintage games and I thought this one would kind of go, I don't know, it's going to be hit or miss, but this one is actually a puzzle and it's of the first, um, it's the, or the last, the first supper, the last supper. And that one I think might go over, um, somebody might be interested in that one. Uh, this one too, 
I always got a soft spot in my heart for Elvis. We were born on the same day. If you have any, anybody knows when, when Elvis was born, him and I share the same birthday, uh, which is coming up. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And then I thought this looked old and um, Parcheesi, the Royal Game of India. I'm, I haven't played it. It looked old. And again, remember when I was just grabbing stuff and putting it in my cart? Um, I just thought it was in really good condition and all the pieces were here. So I grabbed it. Uh, the last thing I ever got to show too that I grabbed were these metal pieces. They're little stands and there's two of them. Uh, for display purposes, it just is always nice to have something to add a little bit of height to my booths. So I grabbed those and that was all part of that original haul. All right. Well, I will see you guys all Monday and I want to thank you all for following along. Um, it was so much fun going to um, the bins and I'm sure I will be back and I'm going to bring you along again. We'll see you Monday. Uh, and um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of my, uh, my haul. See you Monday. Bye.